What's up, my lunatics? Welcome back to my channel. But if it's your first time, my name is Anastasia Luna and welcome to YouTube. All right, guys, today we are going to be watching Diana Ankudinova and the song is uh, Varona. Uh, so super excited to see this. And I heard somewhere that it's actually a pop song and Diana always sings um, things that are really really interesting and, and not really like poppy you know kind of made specifically for her so if this is actually in fact a pop song i'm really excited to see what she can do with that but first if you like the video please give me a thumbs up because it really helps me out and if you like the channel itself please subscribe also guys as you know i'm a rock singer myself my world, my dreams, you drink up my And all the links to all my stuff, my Spotify, my iTunes, my music videos, my social media, all of this jazz is going to be in the description of this video. So check it out. Let me know what you think. Also, guys, if you want to suggest your favorite song, your favorite artist to me, please do so on my Instagram. I do read through uh, pretty much all of the comments on YouTube, but there's so many sometimes good uh, suggestions uh, get lost in the mix and then I miss out on really good stuff so please if you have a good suggestion a good singer or if you want to talk and get your point across please do so on Instagram I answer absolutely everybody all right super excited let's go this is Diana Kudinova and the song is Varona oh I really like the braids <laughs> She always used like a bluish, grayish color scheme. I feel like I know the song. All right, let's stop right here because it's a tiny song. It's only three minutes and 10 seconds. Um, every time I look at Diana, she always, I mean, whoever produces her, her, her managers, whoever helps her, whoever creates uh, the stage around her, they always use this like awesome color scheme. It's kind of like grayish, bluish, metallic, and it's kind of like dreamy and spacey and like university. I really like that. I really like how she looks. I like the braids. Um, I feel like I know the song. I, I have I have a song in mind, but I'll let you know if 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 I'm right or not. I don't know a anything that Diana resings. You know, it it's it st starts sounding completely different, like a completely different song. So I'm not sure I'm right. When I saw um when I did a reaction to can can help falling in love with you. If I didn't know the song, I mean, like it, it it sounded like a completely different song. The arrangement was beautiful. The the execution was beautiful. So, but let's go. I love the dancers. I love weirdness of the costumes everything about this performance i absolutely love so uh let's go a little bit back and i guess this is a course or reverse also she doesn't really conform to like a normal not normal um like um commercial standards of how songs are written so it's like the beginning then there's a verse there's a chorus, there's a verse there's a chorus then there is a bridge and then there's a double chorus. so when when you listen to her it's always it, um, songs have a very interesting different structure so i don't know where exactly we're going right now probably into the chorus, but with diana you really never know so let's see I really like the dancers and the costumes. So yeah, that's a, like another verse, right? Okay, this is the song. Alright, let's stop before um, 
I guess this is the third verse. All right, so I do know the song. <laughs> this is the song that um, this singer used to sing. Her name was Linda. Um, and she was really, really big in Russia in like, I guess, early 2000s or something like this. She kind of disappeared at some point. Uh, I don't know. She kind of like disappears and then appears with like a really badass song and then kind of disappears. I, I remember a long time ago, like when I was still living in Russia, um, I know she moved to to the states of the United States to like you know try it out here but I then then she went back but this is actually like her main hit as far as I'm as far as I remember from my childhood this was her main hit and everybody knew it and everybody was crazy about her and the singer itself oh this is so cool that Diana is singing her song because Linda herself is is very very interesting she kind of had this like very kind of weird gothic -y look to her she had um, you know, like early, early 2000s, I remember like all of us girls like would listen like Britney Spears. Well, I listen to rock, but like, you know, like Britney Spears and then sing and Spice Girls. And then there was Linda who was so weird and so interesting, almost kind of like kind of looked like evanescence a little bit, you know, kind of gothic-y. And everybody was crazy about her, crazy about the song. And she was she stood out a lot to, as far as I remember from everybody else and it's really cool that Diana is singing her song because Diana is so unique and it's it's great that two people that are so unique and so different from everybody else and not really don't really conform to like the normal ways of how pop music and like show business looks and they come together and 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 do something like this this is really cool um vocally the arrangement is perfect. I don't really remember. I, I know the song, but I, I don't really remember the arrangement of that song. I really like how the whole song is kind of dreamy and like spacey a little bit. I love the color scheme. I love how she moves on stage because from uh, so far from what I've seen from Diana, she is more of a she just stands and acts with her face and her small body movement. Even though at um, Rechinka, I think that song she was moving more, but usually she's more kind of like right here and over here she moves much more which is really cool i really want to see her move more and more and more i really love the dancers and usually like i i'm very bitchy when it comes to dancers because i was actually a dancer first then, and then i was a singer because i started dancing when i was like five and i started music when i was seven <laughs> but um I really like the costumes. I, I don't know who created costumes for um, these dancers, but like big props to that person because really, really, really love the dancers. And I love how around how they move around Diana. There's not much of a choreography as far as like nobody's jumping with like splits and jumps. Nobody throws anybody up. Uh, but the choreography is so structured around Diana, around the main character, that it doesn't take away from her, doesn't take away from her performance. Even though I don't think you can take anything away from her, she's still going to shine no matter what. But it's really, um, it's really smart to put dancers around her like that and not give them crazy amount of choreography, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know, it's all structured around her and it's really, it just gives me this like a little like space. Yeah, I feel like I'm, I live within that song. Really cool. All right, I guess we're going into the third verse. She moves differently here. I love it. Wow, costumes are amazing. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> this is so cool. Как это было? Oh, I know her. Her name is Valeria. Um, really, really cool. Very different. Yeah, very different from what I usually see from her. I love the movements. I also have no idea how she was able to sing on on the surface that was kind of like tilted, like it was kind of go, like it was kind of like hill going like this. So basically, she was standing the entire performance like this. Which again, she's still a very very young girl. She's like 18 right now. Like she's still very young. Um, singers with good training actually come to their maturity when they're like 35, 40. So she's still a very young singer, but she's brilliant. So it doesn't even matter. But I, it, it would be very very uncomfortable. Like I'm like imagining singing on something that is like tilted like this, a surface, a, a floor that is tilted and singing there and performing and then those like crows around you all these dancers really cool i really love the song i remember loving that song when i was growing up back home i i really hope she's gonna sing a little bit more um of you know like this kind of style you know like very interesting gothic -y, very almost weird she's perfect so we're definitely gonna be seeing more of diana from this show on my channel i wonder if the show is about uh singers singing songs of other singers and rearranging them but we'll see i actually should probably research what the show is about diana is fantastic i love the costumes I I love the color scheme. I'm gonna say I love the costumes again because those costumes were fantastic. I love uh, how choreographer created everything around her and didn't take anything away from her with so many dancers. There are like eight dancers and still all attention was on Diana and they were not taken away from her with overly complicated choreography. Um, I love the scenery. Everything about this performance is absolutely perfect. And me coming from a theater background because my mom was a theater director, I love of performances that are so thought through that every single little detail is in place like you could tell that they sat down and literally choreographed every single piece of this performance absolutely brilliant diana is amazing i can't wait for her to just like blow up i know she's really famous in russia now she's really famous um online but i can't wait for her to just headline her own huge 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 big shows all over the world because she totally deserves this all right guys my name is anastasia luna thank you so much for checking out my channel if you like the video please give me a thumbs up because it really helps me out and if you like the channel itself please subscribe also guys as you know i'm a rock singer myself and all the links to all my stuff my spotify my items my music videos all this jazz all of this is gonna be in the description of this video so please check it out let me know what you think and like always stay tuned for some metal